John. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to believe that an early morning and a bagel shop could change my entire life. But it did. That's how I met you. You came into my life exactly when I needed you, as if God was holding out until he knew I was ready for this kind of love. A kind, patient, and safe love. A love that supports me, challenges me, and a love I can always come home to. You'll always be the greatest gift God could ever give me. For as long as I can remember, I've always just wanted to spend time with Allie. Looking back, one of my favorite memories of Allie was when she would crawl into bed with me when she had a bad night or a bad dream. We'd laugh and cry and wake up ready to conquer a new day. Allie has always been my voice of reason, my biggest cheerleader and my motivation. She'll tell me when I'm being ridiculous and always have my back when I need it. She's not only one of all of these things for me, but she also portrays these characteristics to her close friends, family, and most importantly, to John. John, thought I'd say a few words. <laughs> although, although Allie seems perfect, she does have some of my traits. <laughs> Requires a special man to do that. You are the man. Um, you know, I just, I just want to say, John, thank you for everything you've done for me. Because, you know, John was a great brother, and he still is. He's my first point of contact for anything. Helps me with everything. Um, and I, I can't be grateful for you being there for, my, for me in my life. Um, thank you, John. When Allie moved to Nashville, I couldn't help but be sad. But at the same time, I was extremely excited and happy for her. I knew this move was the right decision for her when I got a call about this coffee date she went on. The first word she used to describe John to me was hunk. <laughs> she said that he was so kind and his muscles were huge. From there, their love story really began. Recently, I read an African proverb that I think is appropriate for tonight. A family is like a forest. When you're on the outside, it is dense. When you're on the inside, you, you see that each tree has its place. As parents, we strive to surround our children with people that will teach, encourage, mentor, and just love them, right? Teach them this love. And what I see here, as I look at everyone out here tonight, is I see the trees that have been in Allie and John's lives, helping them grow into mature, loving, and a fun couple. I have been given the honor to love and to be loved by you for the rest of our lives. You're the most patient man I've ever met. You've supported me through some of the most challenging days of my life, and you've held my hand after some of the most hurting days of my life. <laughs> but most importantly, John, you've made me, you've made anywhere we go feel like home just by being together. Allison, I've loved you since our first date at Attaboy, and then we went to Fleet Street after, because you wanted to get a Guinness. Your smile and foxy eyes completely <laughs> starstruck me from the first time I saw you. I've tried at least a thousand
enjoyed watching you continue to explore your love of travel, your adventures, your free coffee walks on Saturday mornings, your date nights, as well as your cooking together. So I, I guess I'll end with just saying, Allie, um, you know, thank you. Thank you for being with the family and, and coming to all the events and bringing so much joy. And I only ask one thing of you, and that is to just make sure that you please take care of John and his hair and his diet. <laughs> My advice to the both of you, whenever you've had a bad day, vow to have a coffee date and allow yourselves to go back to that first coffee shop date where you fell in love. Vow to practice patience and to never go to bed mad. To wrap up, I want to take a moment to sincerely thank you, John. Thank you for loving my little sister. Thank you for being her rock, her best friend most importantly, her honk. <laughs> I have an incredible sister already, but today I've been doubly blessed by getting a brother too. So let's raise a glass for Allie and John. Well, may the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent that you've declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment with his blessing what God has joined, men must not divide. So now, it doesn't say right here in my book, but I think that's where you're supposed to kiss the bride. <laughs>